Chief Justice of Nigeria slams Buhari's government anti-corruption fight, says more charges are filed than it can prove in court. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to be the first to be notified when we post hot juicy news. Please click on the notification bell. Thank you. The Epas court faltered the AGF on his allegation, insisting that the judiciary does not deserve to be blamed for the delays in the prosecution of high-profile corruption cases. Okay, on this particular issue, who is to be blamed? The judiciary is saying they're not even the one to be blamed. Rather, the AGF is to be blamed. Well, this one, an AGF, is strong. I don't think there is an AGF that has been like him, having his name appear in various places that are compromising almost all the time. And yet, they look away, not minding what happens, not minding what he does. Okay, the news in detail, please stay with us. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN Justice Ibrahim Mohammed, has lambasted the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malame's son, warning him to desist from accusing the judiciary of delaying the trials of high profile corrupt politicians. The APS court faulted the AGF on his allegation, insisting that the judiciary does not deserve to be blamed for the delays in the prosecution of high profile corruption cases. President Buhari's campaign promises were hinged on three cardinal points fighting corruption, tackling insecurity, and creating jobs. But after seven years in the office, the president has failed to fulfill any of the promises. A statement by Ahuraka Issa, Senior Special Assistant to the Chief Justice of Nigeria, said Malami should look instead within. The statement reads in part, the position of the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami's son, that the judiciary be held responsible for delays in the trial and delivery of judgments and corruption cases involving politically exposed individuals appeared to be one-sided. The Nigerian judiciary is not here to lay claim to being perfect, but when the political and economical conditions under which it is operating is compared with its counterparts in other climes, it will be a judged a prize model. The judiciary, by its constitutional position, does not have criminal investigation unit or fraud detectives code to detect any inst to de detect and investigate criminal involvement of any person. Neither does it have a garrison command to fight its course or enforce its orders and decisions. More often than not, the federal government prosecution sector files more charges than it can prove or provide witnesses to prove, ostensibly a time for the prosecution to even fail. The Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, under the agents of Ref under the reference is infected with source and some part, making speeding adjudications improbable in some instances, in addition to a high volume of cases, a limited number of judges, poor infrastructure, or archaic equipment. Why, given reasons for ease and the funding of the judiciary, the federal government said on January 6, 2022, at the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, Justice Sector Summit 2022 in Abuja that judiciary has not been transparent in the spending of budget allocated, allocated it to each financial year, to each physical year. Although judiciary has refrained from joining issues all this while, but to state the fact in line with the budget, with the budget called circle and ceiling, the federal government sets to the judiciary before the commencement of the fiscal year. The judiciary prepares, prepares its budget estimate for capital, overhead cost, and personal cost according to the ceiling, needs, and priority. Okay, 
Although judiciary has refrained from joining issues all the while, but to state the facts in line with the budget call, secular and sealing, the federal government sent to the judiciary before the commencement of the fiscal year. The judiciary prepares its budget estimate for capital, overhead cost and personal cost according to the ceiling, needs and priority. The judiciary will defend its budget before the Senate and House of Representatives Committee at the National Assembly beside the initial ven vetting of by the executive. The judiciary has an internal mechanism for budget control and implementation. Each court and judicial body has a budget unit. The account department, internal audit, due process unit, as well as departmental, as well as departmental tenders are board. There is also a due process committee at the National Judicial Council (NJC) and the process tenders board that award contracts on expenditure above the approval limits of the accounting officers of a court and judicial borders. There is also a due process committee at the National Judicial Council NJC and the Judicial Tenders Board that awards contracts and expenditure above the above the approval limits of the accounting officers of the, of the sorts and judicial bodies. These layers of control were established by the judiciary to ensure transparency, accountability, and effective budget implementation. The type of transparency that the federal government has stressed. Similarly, by virtue of sections 38 and that it is version of section 38 and 89 of the 1999 Constitution, the National Assembly carries out oversight visits to the judiciary to monitor the implementation of its budget. Similarly, the virtue of sections 88 and 89 and 1999 Constitution, the National Assembly carries out the oversight carries out oversight visits to the judiciary to monitor the implementation of its budget. Section 88 verse 2b also mandates the National Assembly to expose corruption, inefficiency or waste in the execution or administration of laws within its legislative competence and the disbursements or administration of funds appropriated by it.